everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is the Vantech Nexstar HX4 Quad 3.5 inch SATA to USB 3.0 and eSATA external hard drive enclosure and as you can see it is a space saving enclosure that can fit up to four drives and here in front you can see the Vantech logo in there and this glass front is actually um, an LED indicator with a power on top and the four drives that are installed see here that it also has an aluminum body uh, this actually acts as a protective shell around it the frame itself is plastic but the outer shell is aluminum the aluminum is not uh, is not required for cooling it doesn't uh, doesn't have a direct contact with the drives inside but the cooling is handled as you can see here in the top by an 80 millimeter fan of course for those who are concerned with noise luckily here at the rear Vantech has included a switch so you can adjust the fan see in there you just uh, move it um, the maximum fan speed or the lowest fan speed depending on the amount of uh, heat that you need to dissipate and of course here at the rear you also have the 12 volt power DC connector you have the USB 3.0 port and the eSATA port and of course the on and off switch and here in the back is also where you'll access the drives. As you can see there, they all have handles, each four of them. And then before we do that, let's take a look at the bottom. What it looks like you have basically uh, four rubberized feet in there to uh, uh, hold the HX4 in place so it doesn't move around. If you put it on top of a table, it doesn't, uh, see, it doesn't slide around. And let's go back here to the back. To open one of these, of course, you have to slide this to the right side, left side rather, and let's pull out. As you can see, it requires some screws to install a drive inside. And for you, move on with feature, of course, and installing a drive in there. Let's take a look at the accessory package included in the Next RHX4 enclosure. You get, of course, the documentation. You have the user's manual. It is all in English and there's also an illustration in there and a fold out illustrated illust uh, installation guide. It's a quick reference but very straightforward. This, the installation guide comes in multiple languages just in case you English is your first language and you can make uh, sense of the uh, user's manual. The installation guide is there to help you and you get the USB 3.0 cable of course and the the SATA cable. Now good thing about these cables are that uh, these are 100, and centi 100 centimeters long so they are a lot longer than most uh, USB 3.0 and eSATA cables bundled with most enclosures. And of course the power adapter, this is a switching power adapter, uh, comes in two pieces of course. The adapter itself that connects the end of the, the enclosure and the one, uh, the plug that plugs in to, of course, your outlet. You can see there. And also, you get the screws for insulation and four, uh, four of these. Uh, these actually have adhesive backing. You can attach for uh, for additional uh, for maybe you can put it in the bottom of the HX4 for additional stability. And uh, let's take a look at the installation. I actually have pre-installed a 3.5 inch drive inside array in there top it's easy it is to just pull out all you need to do again is slide the lock to the left side and pull out as easy as that and as you can see in there the 3.5 inch form factor uh, 2.5 inch SSDs uh, require an adapter like this one be in so that you can use it inside the HX4 but a standard 3.5 inch drive will fit perfectly all you have to do is screw it here on the side you can see and to install just plug it in plug and play even if your system is running then lock it in place uh, if your system is already running you just plug it in USB 3.0 your uh, operating system will be able to detect it and of course make sure that the on switch is turned on so what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to power this on right now so you can see what the LED looks like in the front and also so you can hear what the fan noise is like. Alright, so this is what it looks like with 
one drive inside as you can see that uh, the blue LED lights up there's actually an activity LED as well so if the uh, drive is reading it will blink and the power is a green LED on top now as you can hear the fan this is at its lowest setting if you actually remove the uh, connector it will automatically turn off uh, the fan rather if there is no cool if there is no requirement for the cooling so there's another cool feature that the uh, HX4 has I'm going to now demonstrate the fans, fan noise from the lowest and to the highest so you can compare. <laughs> 